Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Tag and share. Get your tribe keepers in the room. Facebook, YouTube. Like the video and share. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Tag and share Facebook tribe. YouTube, like and share the video. God bless you. Happy Wednesday. Good morning. Good morning, tribe. Get your tribe keepers in the room. Happy Wednesday to you. Happy Wednesday. Good morning. That's it. Hearts on the screen for hallelujah. Hearts on the screen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hands lifted. Give God the glory. Hands lifted in thanksgiving. Good morning to you. Good morning. Tag, share. Get your tribe keepers in the room. YouTube, like the video and share. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Thank you, Father. Good morning. Tag and share. The Lord has a word this morning. Tag and share. The Lord has a word this morning. We're in the ninth month. Oh, we got to birth some things. We're on September 1 the ninth month we've got to get positioned to birth some things tag and share the lord has a word this morning the ninth month first day of the ninth month we've got to get ready we've got to get ready to birth some things good morning Good morning. We've got to get ready to birth some things. Ninth month. Good morning. Good morning to you. Hallelujah. Thank you for being here. Tag and share. Facebook, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Like and share the video. Give God the glory for this new month. Oh, come on. Get ready to birth some things. We're getting ready to birth some things. Come on, tell, drop it in the screen. I'm ready. T t tell God, I'm ready to birth this thing. Tell God in the, in the comments, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hearts on the screen, I'm ready. I'm tired of this. I'm ready to birth it. That you don't know what to say. Things I defended 
Tell God I'm ready. I'm ready. Tag and share. YouTube, like the video and share it. God has a word today. The ninth month, first day. We're getting ready to birth some things. Tell him, say, God, I'm ready. Hands lifted, I'm ready. Hearts on the screen, I'm ready to birth it, God, I'm ready. Help me to finish well. Jesus. Tell him, God, I'm ready to finish well. Oh, come on, somebody. Ninth month. Help me to finish well. Tag and share. Thank you, Jesus. Give me faith to see where you're taking me. Help me to finish well. Don't help me just start. Help me to finish well. Lord, help me to finish well. Help is on the way. Don't get tired now. Help is on the way. Rescue me. Give God the glory. 
for being your help. Help is on the way. Come on, come on, come on. All you got to do is call on them. It's the ninth month of this year. We're getting ready to birth some things the first day of the ninth month. Listen, time out for hype, time out for entertainment, time out for hooping, and we got to birth some things. Come on, we help me to finish well, Jesus. Oh, we start, but God, help me to finish well. Help is on the way. Somebody put that on the screen. All you got to do is open your mouth and call him. Tell him, God, I need your help. I need you to help me finish well. I need you to help me along my journey. I need you to help me. Help me do what? Finish well. I need your help. I need your help. Tell him, God, I need your help. I need it. I need it. I need it. Help me to finish, finish, finish but not any old kind of way. Finish well. Help me to finish well. Listen, welcome to Morning Manna. God bless you here on Facebook. God bless you, YouTube. Thank you for joining Morning Manna, where we're here every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday morning at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time, where God brings the heat, the fire, the word, the manna that changes your life. Your life cannot be changed outside of God helping you change, outside of you renewing your mind, outside of you picking up the manual, which is the Bible, that is our guide, that's our GPS. Listen, we th there's no other way, say it, say, no other way other way. No other way. Oh, come on. Give God the glory. Welcome our new tribe keepers. I'm getting ready to hurry on because the Lord has a word. The Lord has a word. He has a word, Danielle Hinton. He has a word, Sandra Slaughter. He has a word, Brock, Audrey Green, Tracy, Mother Ruby, Mother Margaret. He has a word. He has a word, Pauline. He has a word, Tamika Arnold. He has a word. He has a word. He, he woke me up in the middle of the night, Robin. He's got a word. He woke me up, troubled my sleep, Mother Margaret. He, he messed with me every now and then when he's on me in a different way Teresa Gale he 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 bothered my sleep last night mother Eva that he woke me up woke me up woke me up I had to get up and walk a little bit write down what he said I had to get up and walk a little bit Christine no other way help me to finish well tell our new tribe keepers welcome Vanessa Starks tell them welcome to tell them welcome Krishan listen tell them welcome listen you're gonna love it here tell them Sabrina let them know let them know you're gonna love it here why because you are loved here. Come on, Wanda Jeter in South Carolina. Tell them, tell them. Let them know you're going to love it here because you are loved here. Deborah Witherspoon, let them know. Let them know. Put some hearts on the screen for our new tribe keepers. Let them know you done pulled up to the right address. Kimberly Walmack, let them know. Jacqueline Jordan, let them know. Let them know. Train of three. Listen, thank each and every one of you who have gone out to your your fan base. Okay, your people, your people, your people, your people. Uh, come on, come on. Natista needs please, please pray for my childhood neighbor to make a full recovery from COVID. She is in ICU, and they've called in the family. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Her name is Miss D. Y'all start bombarding heaven right now for Miss D, who had COVID. She is healed. God is a healer. She's, they, they can call the family in all they want. They going to call the family in to, to see a miracle, to experience a miracle. There is going to be a turnaround. Pray for Miss D to be healed right now of COVID, that she be healed, whole, restored. Come on, say those words. Healed, whole, restored. Come on, give God the glory. We praying for her right now. Miss D, Miss D, Miss D. Okay, Natista Jones has dropped her name in the in the spirit. Come on, y'all. Pray for Miss D. Listen, we love you. We love you here. Thank you, Alicia White, for praying. God bless you. Thank you, Bonnie Harper, for praying. Pray, 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 pray. Thank you, Mother Ruby. Call on the name of Jesus. De Dominique Merriweather, let, let heaven know that, God, we thank you for healing Miss D. Heal. Come on, whole. Come on, heal. Whole. Complete. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Heal, whole, restored. Heal, whole, restored. That's it, Pauline. Heal, whole, restored. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for inviting new tribe keepers to the tribe, for blessing people. You are sowing a seed that you're going to reap a harvest. Give God the glory. God, we thank you right now in the name of Jesus that Miss D is healed, whole, and restored. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God. Help me to finish well, God. Ah, 
who helped me to finish well. He troubled my sleep last night, y'all, to, to give give this word, give this word, give this word. And and, and and it's crazy. It's crazy, Brock. It's crazy how the Lord talked to me, Brianna Kelly. Heal, whole, restored. Miss D is heal, whole, and restored. Oh, come on, come on. We won't pass healing. Come on, we won't pass healing. I'm going to teach that one day the way the Lord gave me the revelation. We want to be whole and restored. Come on, come on. We want we want the next level pass healed. We want to be whole and restored. I'm going to teach that. I'm going to teach that soon. Come on, give God the glory. She is healed, whole, restored. Kimberly Morrow, she's healed, whole, and restored. The Lord troubled my sleep last night. He troubled me, Brina. He, 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 he messed with my sleep. He, 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 he bothered me. He bothered me. And listen, when you walk with the Lord, when you have have a relationship with him when you're constantly communing with him he has permission you know there are certain people in your life come on here Shay that come to my door they ain't got a knock they ain't got a knock they ain't got a knock my kids know you don't have to knock when you come here you come on in you, you know there are certain relationship levels you have with people and I have a relationship with God I need you to wake up I've got something I want one second thank you Holy Ghost thank you Jesus Thank you, Holy Ghost. And so God doesn't have my have to get my permission to come talk to me. He doesn't have to get my permission to come bother me and wake me up out of my sleep. He does not have to get my permission to come speak revelation with me because I've gone into a realm with him where I expected. I've gone into a realm with God where I expect more than just a little pity pat. I've gone into a realm with God where I expect him to answer me, come see about me me, talk to me. I've gone into a realm with him where when I pray and tap into some things, I expect to see him move. God said, listen, listen, those of you that come to him must first believe what that he is and that he is what he is a rewarder of those that do what? Diligently seek him. I expect nothing less from God than to hear me when I call on him. And he said, when you call on me, daughter, I'm going to show you great and mighty things you don't know. I'm going to show you things behind the veil. You you got to get out of the outer court. Stop hanging around in the inner court. It's fine. It's safe. Oh, Jesus. You got to tap in and go on in. Go on in. Come on. Come on. Tell somebody. Drop it on the screen. Drop it on the screen. Tell somebody you got to tap in. You got to tap in. You got to tap in. Come on. Come on. So, so last night, last night, before I went to sleep, Lorraine Daniel, for some reason, I was thinking about REM sleep. R-E-M, REM sleep, REM sleep. That's the level of sleep you go into where you sleep sleep, where, where, where your subconscious is, is dreaming, where you're still, where you're at a total rest, REM sleep. Somebody put it on the screen, R-E-M. M, R E M, R E M, where you go into a, a level of, of rest, where your body is going through a level of restoration, where your body uh, is going in into a realm where it's actually resting and not just you, your eyes are not just closed, but you're actually resting. Your body is being restored. Your metabolism is being set. That's it, R E M. Your cells are being renewed. There's a part of your your mind where your creativity come Pauline don't start with me where your creativity level is going up there that's a part of the sleep where your body is at is is still one um passage uh, thing that I read said your body is actually paralyzed and and you can't really move that in that realm of sleep only your eyes may be moving. It actually says that your eyes are look like they're looking around the room, observing something. You're in a you're in a state of rest and sleep. It oh oh. It also said this. This blew me away, darkest Pittman. Listen, the body and the way God designed it. Listen, you can't tell me He ain't real. It also says April Byers, Gail Watkins. It also says darkest Pittman. It also says this, Danielle. Hinton and Trina 3, that people that are blind, that cannot even see when they open their eyes, go into a state of REM sleep where they see and their eyes are moving as if they're, oh Jesus, that blew me away, Christine Smiley. And 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 and, and, and I, was, I was like, okay, well God, 
God. And then so I thought about that and I was like, what, what am I talking about REM sleep for? I don't, I don't have no problem sleeping. Now, God, you know I don't. You know I don't have no problem crawling up in this bed like a big old fat baby that's done had two bottles of milk with cereal in it. And I go right on to sleep. Deep, deep sleep. I don't have no problem. Listen, I love two things. Well, th well, a few. I love Jesus. I love my family. I love to sleep and I love to eat. Don't judge me. Mind your business. I love it. And so I'm like, God, why am I, why am I Googling REM sleep? What does it have to do with it? Woke me up, Deborah Witherspoon, out of my REM sleep. Oh, Jesus. Woke me up, Tammy Clark, around 1.30ish, 2 o'clock this morning. And I was like, well, God, what are you, you know, I thought he was saying one thing for morning manna. Listen, y'all need to understand. I don't just throw something together. I'm studying. I'm reading. You got to keep something in reserve so he can pull something thing up out of you. The word of the Lord said he'll bring all things back to your remembrance. It had to be in there first. Oh, Jesus. And so I'm waking. I'm, I'm, I'm up at two something this morning. Mother Margaret, I'm sitting there by the bed. Y'all, I keep this notebook and this pen by the bed. Uh-huh. I keep this notebook and this pen by the bedside table. I keep that notebook, Diane McCann, and that pen by the bed, Alicia Dickinson. Ain't got no problem sleeping. I promise you I don't. I don't keep no TV on. I don't need no background noise. I don't need no night lights. When it's time to go sleep, I go night-night. I don't have no problem sleeping. And so he wakes me up at 2-something this morning and gives me, gives me, I said, God, what what is what are you talking about REM again? What is this about? He gives me R. He keeps showing me in the spirit. R-E-M. Tell my people, this is what you're going to go out to your main pages and tag in, tag me in. This is what you're going to go out there and say today. Tap in, tap in, tap in. Some of you are desiring things from God. Some of you want some things from God, but you got a R-E-M. You're going to have to tap in. And so how do we tap into REM in the spirit realm, the way that we tap into REM in our sleep. I'm talking about the deep sleep where God is speaking to us, where we're dreaming, where our bodies are being renewed, where we're at a total state of rest and God can come in and speak to us. Those are when we have dreams that when we wake up, we remember them. Oh my God, it blew my mind. And I said, well, God, REM, I'm seeing the big block letters, Quinette Fraser, as if he's writing them on the wall. R-E-M. I said, okay, God, I, I, I saw what it meant, what you, R-E-M, I want you to go out to your main pages and say this, tap in, tap in. Some of y'all need to tap in to your R-E-M. What do you need to tap into? Read, R, 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 read, read, read. If you want to go to another level, if you want to tap in, if you want to go up in the spirit, if you want to see some things loosed, if you want to see some things happen in your life, if you want to go to another level, you're going to have to R, read, read, read what? You're going to have to read the word. The word says that faith comes by hearing and hearing how? By the word of the God, by the word of the Lord. You want to hear, you want revelation. You can't do that apart from picking up his word and reading it. Oh, I ain't got nothing deep, but I mean, he, 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 showed me this thing as clear as my hand in front of my face. I'm not smart enough to make this up. Are you kidding me? Things come through the revelation of the Holy Ghost. I've been spending time with him. R-E-M. You want to tap in? You want another level? You you want breakthrough? You you, you, you want to see some things you ain't never seen before? You, you want to go up in the realm where when, when you go into a place where people are being healed and set free, where when I walk in the room, the very essence of who the anointing is on my life. People are shifted and changed. R-E-M. I want to tap in. Read, read, read. Secondly, secondly, you got to examine. Oh, whoa. When you read this word, it's going to cause you to see something. It's going to cause you to see God and it's going to cause you to see yourself. Oh, you got to read the word. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word. R-E-M. You want to tap in, you're going to have to read the word. And secondly, you're going to have to examine yourself. Second Corinthians 13 and 5 says this, examine yourselves. See, we love to examine other folk. Uh, you want to tap in for real with God. You see him and then you need to examine yourself examine yourselves to see whether you be in the faith. Oh, you want to tap in? Examine yourself to see what your faith won't look like. Mm. You want to tap in? 
examine yourself and tell me what that faith look like. Test yourselves or do you not realize this about yourselves that Jesus is in you unless indeed you fail to meet the test. Oh, we want to tap in. I want to tap into REM in the spirit like I do in my sleep, Tammy. Lastly, M, 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 R, read, E, examine, M, meditate, meditate. Psalms 1, 1 and 2 said, blessed is the man. Blessed is the woman. I'm blessed to have an encounter with God at 2 a.m. He came to talk to me. Blessed, blessed. I'm blessed. You can't take God from me. You can't take my encounters with him from me. You can't, you can't take it. I'm blessed. Tap in, tap in, tap into the realm. You want to tap in, you're going to have to read the word. You're going to have the faith come by hearing, hearing by the word of the Lord. You're going to have to examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. Oh my God. M, meditate. Psalms 1, 1 and 2 said, blessed is the man. I'm blessed that God comes to talk to me. I'm blessed that I have encounters with God. Why? Because I have set the report and the relationship where he can come talk to me. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and he meditates. Oh, meditate mean I'm 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 chewing on it all day long. Oh. If some of y'all, all the words you get is online on Sunday, you in trouble. I'm telling you now, don't, don't listen. You in trouble. That's why some of y'all are weary. You're weak. You tired. You don't have no sustainability. you you just exhausted. Everything bother you. You ain't got nothing in you. You've got to tap in. If you want to tap in, Christine Smiley has dropped a prayer request on the screen for Alfreda that's in hospice, heal, whole, restored. We're going to say those three words until we get it in our spirit. REM, R-E-M. Go out to your main pages and tag your girl in and say tap in, tap in, tap in, tap in. Wasn't it the disciples that they came and tried to heal somebody and it didn't work and Jesus rolled up on the, on the scene and he 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 he. he Heal the individual and his disciples asked him a question. They said, why couldn't we do nothing? Mm. Jesus said something important. He said, this kind. See, anybody telling me that you called a ministry, you called a prayer, you called to, uh, to prophesy, you, you called to, to, to um, lay hands, and, and, and your life is not marked by prayer, your daily life is not marked by reading the word, you, you don't, listen, God have to beg you to fast, you ain't got no power, I'm sorry, ain't no power attached to you. He, he tells them this kind only comes out through prayer and fasting. What is he saying? You weren't prepared for this. Oh, you 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 telling me you called a prayer? And and I don't see you praying outside of, of pe when people drop prayer requests on the screen. No, 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 no. Your life should be marked by prayer. I'm walking through here praying all the time. I'm getting in the closet. Some of y'all don't pray. You don't read your word. You, you, you powerless. You can't tap into the rim, R-E-M, unless you live this type of lifestyle. God has told me this morning, Sharon, as I was getting ready for this live, Mother Ruby, he said, you've been asking me what's next. You got to go into another level of consecration with me. I said, God, are you serious? I, I'm, I'm getting ready to be fasting the entire month of September. What more can I do? He has told me at the beginning of the year, Tammy Clark, how I'm supposed to set aside the first three days of every month. I said, okay, God. He said, you're getting ready to go to another realm. You're getting ready to go to another level. You're getting ready to see things open visions. You're getting ready to go into trances. Good and see something and you're going to be able to speak it and it's going to happen. You're powerless. That's it, Tammy. I don't, I don't need you flanking the altar of the church trying to be seen. Talking about I'm in the prayer ministry and you ain't prayed all week. You ain't prayed outside of people saying, I need you to pray for me. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. And when you get off the phone with them, you don't call their name before. The, you a liar. You a lying, praying wonder. You're not praying. God said this kind because you the reason you couldn't get this is because you hadn't tapped in. 
The reason you couldn't help this individual is because you have not tapped in. The reason you didn't have no power on this thing right here is because you have not tapped in. You want power, you're going to have to tap in. You want to see movement, you're going to have to tap in. Isn't it amazing to you, Teresa? It's amazing to me, Wanda Jeter, that the areas where people tell me they want the most breakthrough, they want to see God move, those are the areas where they lack the most discipline and when you call them on the carpet, hold them accountable, ask them about it, they get mute. All you hear is crickets. You want breakthrough in your finances? Let me pull your tithing record. You want breakthrough in your in your life? Let me see what that prayer life look like. You want this to move in your you want curses broken off your family? When the last time you oh gross on my baba, you turned down your plate? When the last time? When the last time you tapped in? You want stuff that you don't even, you ain't even tapped in to get access to. Ah, uh, rem, rem, R-E-M, read the word. Faith come by hearing. Examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. Meditate, meditate. What does meditate mean? I looked it up, Krishan. It means to keep thinking about something over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. The problem with us is we keep thinking about our problems and mess over and over and over. That's why all these TVs my sons have bought me, I thank God for them. I thank God that my children love me the way they love me because I done love them. I thank God for them, how they done come Come up through here in Christmas and mounted this nice big old TV. I don't care nothing about it. I don't care nothing about it. Don't care nothing about it. We keep rehearsing all the mess we see on social media. We keep rehearsing the news. We keep rehearsing the stats. We keep rehearsing. When the last time you meditated on and rehearsed the word of God? But you want to walk in power. I'm, I'm called to prayer. Really? Okay. What that power look like? I'm called a minister. Really? When the last time you hashtag open your paper Bible and just walk the floor and read it out loud? When the last time you studied for four or five hours with no TV on, with no not picking up your phone? When the last time you tapped in and turned down your plate and fasted and prayed, prayed for power? The places where, where people say they want breakthrough. The, listen, Sharon, this, this is how I know Kimberly McCann's. There are people that come to me for coaching, co people that come to me for counseling. I can tell when I done hit something in the spirit, Brock, when they shut down. They don't call me no more. They don't finish their sessions. They done pay for the sessions. And, and, and I, they, 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 I don't hear nothing from a Mother Margaret. When I tap into something that, that, they, that they need to deal with, when I tap into something that God is calling them to let go of and, and and, and walk away from when I call them into the death walk. Mm, I don't hear nothing from them. But when all hell break loose, ding, I, I, I get a prayer request. Oh, ding, I get a 911 in my inbox. I need you to pray about this because I feel I'm, 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 I'm about to lose my mind. Uh, uh, let's go back to the last conversation we had. Oh, we want, we want power, but we don't want to tap in. We want power, but we, we don't want to consecrate. We want power, but we won't pray. We won't study. We won't read. We want power. We want power. And and, and here, here's where we are. Oh, Jesus Christ, have mercy. Here's where we are. We love to go around and listen to everybody else and glean word. Oh, God gave me a word. God, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. You li You regurgitating what you heard somebody else say. He ain't gave you no word because you ain't spent no time with him. You regurgitating what you heard somebody else say. You 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 recycling. I'm sick of pastors recycling cliches and, and, and titles and, and all this stuff to be catchy. Sit down somewhere and get with God and let him give you revelation and give you power and give you a word that's going to free some people, give you a word that's going to tap into the enemy's camp and say, listen, they've been held captive long enough in this area and all your entertainment and all of your flashiness and all of you regurgitating these crazy, the, 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 the stuff that pastors, are, I'm sick of it. I'm over it. Your congregation is dying and you up there on the stage when they say lights, camera, action, you up there acting a fool. You up there trying to entertain people. People have gotten so hooked on hoops and entertainment, they don't even realize that ain't power. That's a bunch of noise. 
That's why people are still bound up, broke, broken. We're the real pastors, teachers, prophets, evangelists with some power. Please stand up. Rim. 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 Will those that have consecrated please stand up? Will those that have been spending time with the Lord please stand up? I'm sick of pastors that have been talking about, I've been with this person. I've been with that. No, no, no. Who? When the last time you was with God? When the last time you sat down with him? When is the last time you talked to your daddy? When is the last time that you spent time in prayer and fasting? When is the last time that happened? I don't care nothing about who you traveling to speak for. I don't care nothing about all them backroom games pastors playing to get checks and recycling money between one another. And your people dying. You fleecing the sheep. You pimping them. No power. Thank you, Father. Tap in. Tap in. If you want to sow into this word, they're going to put the information on the screen. Will the real prophet stand up? I'm going to speak a blessing over you. We're getting ready to go. I speak over you today that all of your lines are going to fall in smooth places. I speak on today that flesh will die and your spirit got to get up. You got to tap in. You've got to tap in. You're not going to see the things you want to see unless you do. Die, sacrifice, tap in. Listen, tribe, I love you. I do. We're going to be back here tomorrow morning for what? The heat, the fire, the manna. God bless you. Tap in. Thank you, God.